Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your mid-August 2017 tarot reading. So for the next two weeks, so this is like the last two weeks of the month, running from the 15th to the end of the month of August. I feel that your emotional state is going to be looking quite good, okay? And basically the emotional state is, uh, I don't see you dealing with a lot of worries. I do feel new jobs coming through, which will make you very, very happy. If you have been dealing with financial fluctuations, I feel like I, I feel like you have either a performance review where someone, you know, looks over your past progress and your past um your your past performance and they're either deciding, you know, to give you an income boost, like a, a, a little bit of a pay increase, or they're giving you just very positive verbal, you know, affirmation that you're on the right track. So I feel like that's really going to boost your self-esteem. That I feel is coming through either this month from now until the October time frame. And I feel like it's going to be very good. Okay. Very positive. And then for those of you looking for uh, full-time work or looking for a job, I do feel the same energy where they're mentioning they're mentioning like, you know, new employers calling your previous employer. So from now until that October time frame and you're getting positive reception, like you're getting a glowing review. So I feel that it looks very good. And if you are in the uh, creative industry, you know, such as uh, in the performing arts or such as um, doing something where you're giving it, um, you're, you're bringing something out into the world. I feel like you're going to, you're, if you're worried right now, you're going to get very positive review from now into that October, uh, timeframe, because I, I hear like glowing positive review. So I, I reviews. So that's, um, you know, performance review appraisal, getting, you know, accolades and getting positive reception overall from your audience or even from like critics or even from, uh, employers who are appraising you. Okay. Um, financially though, I feel like for some of you, things can definitely be worked at and can be improved and can get better. So first of all, um, in the monthly reading, I mentioned a lot of career paths that some of you can take. Okay. And I feel like some of you, uh, you might have like a home based or a family based type of business that was passed down to you. And I feel like on the one hand, you know, you, you are a very, very loyal like uh, sign and family ties, family creations, family values do mean a lot to you. And some of you, for example, you might have inherited, you know, like um, family business. Um, parents might have left something behind and you or your siblings are trying to build it and, and you know, bring it back to its heyday. And I feel as if um, it's it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like it's it's a business model that needs to be innovated. So it needs to be changed. It needs to be revamped. And I feel that hanging on to the status quo is not going to be efficient anymore. It's not going to be productive and you might lose out on a lot of money. So they're saying that while the business model itself, I feel like it's dwindling, like a client base is dwindling. So you're not making enough uh, as much money as as you used to as back in the days when your parents or your family ran the business. So I feel like possibly finding ways where you can reinvent the business, innovate and at least appeal to a different demographics, you know, mainly because times are changing, people grow up and um, I feel like you're dealing with a diff different demographic. So rather than dealing with, you know, so for example, if it's a restaurant and you're catering more to like the older population, I feel like it might be time for you to innovate and cater more to the young crowds that might be uh, entering the area or catering more to, you know, for example, if it's a high class restaurant and you're, you're finding that, that client base dwindling, you might want to open it out for more happy hour for more, you know, like uh, blue collar laborers, for example. So I feel like some major, major reinvention of a family business is necessary. Hiring advertisers, hiring people that can really, uh, help you innovate your business. I feel it's going to be crucial. And I feel that if there is a financial drain, you might need to take a different direction when it comes to the future of this business. Okay. And I do see, um, it's like if you are involved in it with siblings or like extended, uh, extended family members or relatives, it's difficult because you know, there are too many cooks in the, the kitchen, like too many people with different ideas, 
some people they still have sentimental values and they want to take a business you know they keep want to keep the status quo and i feel that you're not in a position where you can override their decisions so i feel like there are internal family squabbles coming in as it relates to money as it relates to business others of you who are not dealing with this business aspect i feel like there are family members coming in telling you, you should do this you should do that giving you inputs that I feel is leaving you very like confused like what do I do how do I please everyone how do I navigate this energy how do I you know it's like they're they're giving you too many inputs and you don't really want to upset anybody by taking or not taking a specific course of action so I do see a lot of pressure on you uh, financially but I don't feel like it's you know symptomatic of of an ongoing, you know, chronic issue. And I don't feel like it's, um, it's very serious though. Okay. I don't feel that it's very serious. Um, I also feel in the, on the work front, um, it seems like something is not fair. It's like you're, you have your, your workload, right? And then your coworkers have their own workload and it's like, you're knocking your projects down. You're efficient. You're being very productive with your time. And it feels to me like some of you are just in the process of finishing up and you're just like, yay, I'm ahead of time. I'm going to be done before everybody. And then somebody comes in and drop like another project on your desk. And you're just looking around like, well, what about everybody else? That's not fair. Why aren't they getting the projects? And I just want you to, you know, remain calm in this situation if you feel that way. And, or at least, you know, have a rational discussion with whoever that is. And you can just tell them, oh, you know, the other people are... You just, just explain it in a calm, rational manner, because I feel like if this is an ongoing problem, you want to address it. Don't be passive about it, but at the same time, don't be aggressive about it. So, you know, approach it in a manner where it's like, hey, what's that? And why is everybody getting the workload too, or is it just me? And then I feel like that person that dropped it on your desk, and they're going to feel a little bit awkward. And I feel like it's going to prevent them from doing it in the future to you, okay? So uh, addressing it in a very, like, um, I, I want to say assertive, but not aggressive way, it's going to be in your best favor, okay? Um on the relationship front, I do feel some of you have a very, very good relationship partner. I have a water sign that is here. Um, the water signs are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is somebody that is very devoted, very faithful, very truthful. And I feel like some of you are heavily, um, it's almost like you're living for this person. You have somebody on your field rooting for you, batting for you, and I feel like you have a lot of emotional support. So the relationship sector seems very, very smooth, seems like, you know, it's, it's not going to be chaotic at all. Some of you have children, um, they're starting to work, so they might be, you know, teenagers they might be like verging on young adulthood and I feel like if you are dealing with, with financial issues children are coming into the picture to be a financial assistance to you and I feel like this is going to be a major major surprise for you because it, it feels like you know they see that you're struggling even though they might be they, they might not verbalize it but I feel like they're bringing in physical tangible um kind of like a helping hand and I feel like that's going to make you you feel really good and feel very proud of the work that you have of the way that you have raised the kids and taught them okay so I feel like things coming back to their maker is what I'm hearing so that means financial assistance or people that especially you, you know if you are the maker meaning that they are your own children I feel like they're going to come in and they're going to give you a lot of physical and financial support um, they're also mentioning some friends coming in with income generating opportunities. Um, they're saying keep your day job. If this is a side gig, keep it a side gig. Don't quit your day job in order to take this side gig or at least you need to think twice because I feel like you have trouble saying no to your friends. So if they're coming in with an idea, make sure everything is planned out well, okay? And they're, they're just saying keep your day job. And if for those of you who are not, you know, currently like full time employed and you have new opportunity coming in from friends, it's going to be very short term. So that means just plan for the future. Don't, uh, you know, put all your eggs in one basket with these opportunities. OK, the last thing that I want to end this with is um, I feel like for some of you, the living arrangement, um, it feels a little bit restrictive. It feels a little bit restrictive, so that means you might need to start saving up. And I feel, um, 
I feel like the 2018 time frame, there's going to be some massive major housing moves for you. More people coming into the house, possibly if you are expecting new children, I feel like there might be an addition to the household or more people coming in and you're going to have to really think about saving up in order to, you know, for a down payment on a home, a down payment on a condo or even, you know, change your current location because some of you might be uh, foreseeing this, okay? They're saying like towards the very beginning of 2018, I feel like a major, major move is going to happen for you in the housing front. So bear with the financial, um, the housing situation for now if you are financially strapped. If you are eyeing like a bigger venue, a bigger home, a bigger, you know, apartment or a bigger living arrangement, I feel like it's going to be very good for you to start saving up for the next four months in order to land something that is exactly a big fit for, like a, a fit a very good fit for you on the housing front, okay? Start saving up. This is not a month for you to splurge, and I feel like from now until the next four months, that is going to take us into December and the January time frame. It's very crucial for you to save up as much as you can, and especially I feel like there is going to be a major move, housing move, um, happening for you December and the January time frame, okay? So, Leos, um, I wish you all the best, and once again, happy birthday. I hope um, this finds you well, and I hope the messages are helpful for you guys, okay? Um, you know, have a very, very good celebration with your family and loved ones, and uh, try to stay safe. We are in the Mercury retrograde time frame, so um, I do want you to be very careful when it comes to driving and, you know, doing things, you know, on the up and up and by the book, okay? It's a really important time to do things in, in a methodical manner and not cut corners, okay? So take care of yourself. I'll be back for the next month's reading, okay? Bye-bye.